I've always kind of known that I wanted to be in the uh, medical field for a while, for a really long time, majority of my life. I knew that I wanted to get in nursing. I just decided that CNA work would be like the, the introductory level to get into the nursing field. So it would give me just hands-on experience working with direct patient care and patients. My most important consideration for choosing eight was the commitment to its students, just how well they train their students or prepare their students for the next level. I grew up in a family where addiction was a big issue. My mother played an important role in that. She was an alcoholic for a lot of my young life, and then she got sober and she became a drug and alcohol counselor herself. And so I grew up kind of you know, knowing the ins and outs of the field. So I've always wanted to help people and that I've always felt drawn to. I decided on healthcare training because I feel I have a calling for it. I love to help people, people from all walks of life. And you get a little bit of everything from pediatrics to geriatrics. Um, so that's what I like about it. I decided to do the Certified Recovery Mentor Training. I was working closely with a parent mentor when I was in recovery, and she really inspired me um, how she would interact with the probation and parole or the, the child attorney or the judges, and uh, she was just like myself, an addict in recovery, and had been in and out of prison and um, had lost her children too, and so I really admired that. and. Um, I just really wanted to do something in that field. My life before training, I was working as a caregiver and I wanted to pursue my educational goals. And when I went to the North WorkSource office, I happened to be in the right place at the right time. The advice I'd give to other people is to step outside your comfort zone and believe in yourself. Well, I decided to do medical coding training because I had a background in administrative work before, like during high school, and I've always been really good with people, and so I thought, well, I could probably do something in healthcare, like I could probably make a career out of working in an office or something administrative. I just didn't know what my options were which is why this program was really helpful for me because it kind of introduced me to different aspects of the administrative side to healthcare that I wasn't familiar with before. It just sounded like it would be a good fit and so I went for it. I'm really excited because school has always been something I wanted to pursue. I had a couple years of you know, community college but never went anywhere with it. And, but it's always been like a passion of mine. I get out there and get those skills and do what I need to do, so I'm really excited. The advice that I would give to someone considering is to take it a day at a time. Uh, it's really competitive and you really want to set yourself up uh, to be successful. So don't feel rushed, don't feel like you have to get everything done in one day or one term. You know, really take your time and, and you'll get there. Yeah. Many types of training are available in healthcare. Students attend classes in person and online. They also have clinicals where they actively practice skills like drawing blood and taking blood pressure readings.